Hi guys. Hi. How are you? Uh, it is my first time in the money. <laughs> and I've realized that almost every person in Kilimani has an iPhone. Like, kila mtu, almost everyone. And I want to make it clear, actually, in the beginning, I really did not like people who own iPhones. Because people who have iPhones, you realize that most of them don't put phone protectors at the back. Reason being, they want you to see the logo. <laughs> Now, <laughs> now, with time, with time, I stopped judging them. Do you know why? Because I came to realize that everything feels without everything feels good without protection. There's no man that does not love Nyash. If I'm lying, get out. If I'm lying. Now, since everybody in Kenya is, is earning or making it from everything, I saw this as an opportunity. Because I've watched a guy in uh, YouTube, this guy was saying that it is time, because every man looks at a woman's Nyash. Like, every man, Dema Kipita, you must confirm. Except me. Because they're not straight. Every man confirms. Every man. So this guy was saying, I think this should be an opportunity. Like we should be putting important information at the back of women's yeah, nyash. Yeah, things like uh, pictures of missing children, advertisements, because everyone will see them. Everyone will see them. And I was thinking, Verasidika is actually going to make it. Because I'm sure she's going to get lucrative advertisements. Imagine Verasidika doing an advert for a bank, like ACB. Now, the problem I have with this advert is that people will misunderstand it. Imagine an advert at, uh, of KCB uh, posted at Verasidika's Nyash. Imagine the details. Come and deposit. <laughs> Withdrawing is free. <laughs> uh, how many of you are supporting El Komoni? You know what happened? Yes. You're supporting El Komoni? Yes. Uh, actually, from my side, I think she's. Okay, he, I mean. Sorry. <laughs> I think. He, he, from my side, I think he's okay. Like, what he was advocating for is right. And, uh, but that's not my main agenda. What I, I really want to support uh, 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 on is about musicians. So many people uh, don't agree with him, but the guy is right. Kenyan musicians don't carry themselves as musicians. I'll tell you why. Have you ever realized that Kenyan musicians are too available? Too available. Like they are everywhere. Unapita kwatu wakuza dawa ya mende mbukigenje wako wapu. They are everywhere. These guys, these guys don't understand that scarcity gives value to a product. They are, in fact, I'm not even hating. Most Kenyan musicians look like they have a bachelor's degree in poverty and applied suffering. For real. And uh, there was a time back where Sadika was rapping. What happened to the music? She rapped. That's a good one. Give that man uh, something on the That's a good one. Uh, uh, people think uh, the names that you're given really uh, uh, articulate or portray your character. That's why parents give children names with uh, Bible names, like with Bible meanings. People call the uh, Jesus. The people call Jesus right now. No. People are called Jesus. People. No. Let me tell you. The name you're called does not portray your character. Like if you're called, if you're called Moses, 
does not mean you love it, but then Abraham will be big and get. People think, people think if girl, a girl is called Mary, maybe he'll uh, emulate Mary's attributes from the Bible. No, it's not like that. If a girl is called Mercy, she'll have, she'll have mass. It's not like that. <laughs> they are not referred to massive things, they are not. From experience, from experience. Nisha ini mwana dema na ito a chariot. Not for everyone. That's not for everyone. Uh, there are so many inventions in the world. And every invention has something behind it. Like I'm told, the person who invented KCC actually was uh, motivated by a donkey. I'm not sure which part. <laughs> Those who know, know. Now, there are companies in China that actually are coming up with very funny things. There's a company in China that's actually piping alcohol. Like, when you pipe alcohol, you pay it. Like, you can imagine someone coming to your house and asking you a question like, Bro, I'm going to get there's a company called Imalex. This company wants to make a, a chew from a bread, actually from bread crumbs. Like they don't want it to go to waste. So I'm trying to imagine, how do you wear a shoe made out of bread? Bro, that's a thread. That one cannot work in Kenya. Imagine when you're in town, you're in a kiatu, you're in a mkate. Do you know a person just, you're in a kiatu, you just need to say, to say three words. Bro, ni lipe de niyango pa ni mwe chai. How do we even talk about you? Like right now we are talking, bro, this one, this one is Jordan. I can see you have Air Force. How will we be talking about the brands? Ati bro, meba ki atu gani, ayu mki ni super love. How do we even talk about the shoe polish? Like this one is, you apply kiwi, right? Now, a shoe made out of bread, how do we talk about it? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, that was my time. Something something very controversial. My jokes are like an orgasm. Not everyone gets it.